Jackson in motion. Aikman, his first throw of the day. And he got it complete out near the 40. It'll be close to a first down. Michael Irvin made the catch. Versions, third and seven here. Aikman steps in across the middle, in and out of the hands of Novacek. And the Cowboys will have to give it up. Jackson, the line drive spiral. Ernest Gibbons comes over, and Dallas is going to be able to down this inside the five. All the way down near the two-yard line. Drew Hill in motion. Moon from his own end zone. Got it out to Drew Hill. Warren Moon with time. And has to buy some extra time. And he's going to be short of the first down. Or did he get enough? I don't think so. Tony Casillas ran him down. I think Warren's a foot short or so. And he got enough. That's a heck of an effort. The guy's playing with the flu. Selling out on the third play of the game. Giving his body up. It's the run and shoot of the Oilers. Working from their own 12-yard line. Moon to Jeffries. Across the 20. Up to the 21. Haywood Jeffries leading the AFC in receptions. Again in motion. And Allen Pickett will pick up the first down and then some across the 25. And out near the 28-yard line. Kent Gibbons in motion. Moon with time. Zips it out again to Jeffries. And Jeffries working out there on Larry Brown, the 12th round draft choice. Del Rio up close, thought about a blitz. Warren Moon calls a timeout. I didn't get it in time, though. The uh, play clock ran down. down all the way down to zero. Warren looked up too late, and it's going to be five yards against the Oilers. There is no timeout. Repeat third down. Sir. From the 32, and it's a draw play to pick it, and he won't get it. Tony Tolbert, Tony Casillas and company there to meet him. So that penalty did change things. And take it away to Calvin Martin, back deep for Dallas. And they got that one too, and they might have a touchdown out of it. Williams scores. Robert Williams did it again. Ike Holt, I think, got it, didn't he, Dan? Yeah, Isaac Holt comes in here and blocks that ball in the air and uh, what a gift falls right in the arms of Williams big turnover and a touchdown for Dallas seconds remaining first quarter and Ike Holden and Robert Williams produce a Dallas touchdown the Cowboys leading the Oilers seven nothing about right now his last punt didn't get far and he got another one stuffed Penalty markers are down. The Cowboys have blocked another punt. Derek Brownlow, but let's see about the flag. Adjustment, they cut Brownlow Healing loose, formation. and he gets the second block of the game. On the kicking team, the penalty is declined. First down. The illegal formation, they call, on the Oilers. The Cowboys lead by a touchdown. Emmett Smith outside. Nice pursuit. Al Smith, the middle linebacker, playing like an all-pro this year, ran him down. It'll be third down. Motion. One of Aikman's favorite receivers. Aikman on the run. Got it complete down to the 18-yard line, but I think it's about a yard short of a Dallas first down, and it's Johnston, the fullback. Overcheck to hold. Willis kick on the way. Two minutes, 11 seconds remaining first quarter. Thanks to the Cowboys special teams, they lead by 10. Coleman in motion. And it's Pinkett on the ground, and he breaks free across the 20 and out near the 24-yard line. First down, Oilers. Beats for the first down run there, and Moon back to put it up. Warren goes again across the middle, and a flag down as Curtis Duncan got it out for about nine yards, but penalty markers down. Holding number 66 on the offense. Repeat first down. Duck makes it first and 20 for the Oilers. Moon to Jeffries. First down, Houston. For the second quarter. And Dallas bringing everybody after Warren Moon, who got it across to Coleman. He breaks free. Ray 
Horton ran him down, but not before he got to the 36. Uh, Drew Hill running room in the secondary, and this is a real mismatch. Watch after the catch as he gets away from the strong safety, James Washington, and adds about another 15 yards to that short pass. Plus 40. And Allen Pinkett on the ground with some room to work. Across the 30 and down for about nine yards to the 27 yard line. You probably think Houston had a big lead. It's Dallas 10 nothing. Warren pump fakes and goes deep sideline. Jeffries and it's broken up in the end zone. Larry Brown, they've been picking on the rookie all day, but he did a nice play there. Down and a long one. Pink it. Got it. To the 24. Boy, it looked like he was going to be stopped, but he put a great move on, and Ken Norton got him after a pickup of a couple. Moon, deep middle. Now it's first and goal, and it's Drew Hill. Pick up a 15. Now sets right there in the slot on the right side as Moon zips it to Coleman. Not quite. Down to the one-yard line. From the Dallas one, Pinkett is in. Touchdown, Houston. The Oilers found the sledding a little bit tough down close, but Allen Pinkett had just enough, and the Dallas lead cut to three. And so today, Al Smith out the nickel package in for the Oilers, a three-wide receiver group for Dallas. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. Aikman got rid of it and got it out to Urban. First down for the Cowboys in midfield. Getting by three. And a first down. A little quick opening draw for Emmett Smith. Flags down. Smith into the secondary. He'll have a first down, but I think we're going to have a holding to bring it back. Dishman. Holding. 63 on the offense. Repeat first down. John Gesick, the right guard. Guilty of the holding call. 20. Dallas from its own 40. Aikman quickly to Harper. And he's got a first down for the Cowboys, a 21-yard pass play. And there's the Cowboys' top draft choice. Down so far today. Aikman across the middle, almost picked off by Lamar Lathan. And he would have had another turnover, and he'd like to have it. <laughs> Four to go in the half. It is 10-7 Dallas. And the Oilers about set to try to tie it up. Well, and only moments ago, they had a third and eight situation. They get the five-yard penalty, brings up third and 13. Now a seven-yard sack, fourth and 20. And Del Greco will have to try his first field goal as an oiler from 52 yards away. And if he hits this, he can run for mayor. Montgomery to hold. Del Greco from long range to try to tie it up. Kick has a chance, and he got it. up in the air didn't get into the neutral zone first and 15 Aikman over the middle to Urban and Urban on the run and heading to the sideline first down Dallas at the 49 Aikman in trouble got rid of it and incomplete penalty markers down in the secondary the second holding number 29 on the defense five yards automatic first down Daryl Lewis the nickelback 46 Troy Aikman to the sideline, complete, but he's still in bounds. Michael Irvin, and he's going to call the timeout at the 31-yard line. Already within his range, but the Cowboys have some time left to work, and Aikman goes to work to Emmett Smith, and Smith all the way to the 20-yard line, and another Dallas first down. Clock, you see, down to 15. Cowboys want to save their last timeout for that field goal, so they'll run this one all the way down and bring Willis on for a uh, chip shot season try to break our 10 10 deadlock and he does and we've still got a couple of ticks left before halftime but willis 37 yard field goal has put the cowboys back out in front two quarters dallas took the early lead and they'll take the halftime lead as well the cowboys by three 
week against the Redskins, but also a fumble that led to a British minor score. Moon on first down. Up to Jeffries. A nice move to get about four yards out of it. Pro at guard, and they say he is playing an all pro season at center. White left side, first down. And a batch more out to the 40. Down in his stance until the last second. He gets cut off by Matthews. Mags turns out on Jeffcoat and another big gain for Lorenzo White. So he's about a couple of receivers in the same spot. Both have fallen incomplete. Second and ten. Draw play. White. And Lorenzo White got it out to the 47. Jack Del Rio is there. It'll bring up third down and a long three. Warren Moon out the flat. Ernest Givens made the catch first down and then some. Still on his feet, he's all the way to the 25. Put the brakes on, because I thought he was going out too. Well, it's the blitz coming. Here's the hot receiver. Let's see those quick, happy feet. Oh, that's a heck of a job by Ernest Givens. Whoa. He's out of bounds there, though. Yep. That left foot stepped on the outside. Oilers and trying now to the play. officials come up. To 10 Houston at the Dallas 25. On the shotgun. A run and shoot. Is shooting again. Lorenzo White out of the backfield to the 19-yard line. They're down close enough where they can at least tie it on this drive. Moon across the middle. First and goal. Houston. The first time today. Lorenzo White. He's been a workhorse this drive. He got it down near the two. Jack Del Rio made the tackle. We mentioned play fake. Moon in trouble, and it's almost intercepted by Isaac Holtz. Tony Jones, the closest receiver. And it's a couple of Huskies that were getting tangled up there. Rick Our field goal attempt to try to give us our second tie of the day. Snap a little wide, but the kick is good. Five minutes, 33 seconds to play third quarter. The Cowboys and the Oilers are deadlocked at 13. No check without a catch today. Now he's got one, and he's all the way to the 47. Well, I tell you, that was the best throw of the day for Aikman. 13. Novacek in motion. Aikman goes to Alfredo Roberts, his other tight end, and he's going to have a first down. Roberts, the former Kansas City Chief, a plan B addition by the Cowboys, gets 11. Aikman on first down. Novacek across the middle. And the ball loose. Do the Oilers have it? Nope. They're going to say he was down. Rick Graff's going the other way to make sure. And they can't review this one because that one was blown dead right there. He's had only one third down conversion all day. Third and ten here. Aikman incomplete. Nice coverage by Richard Johnson on a pass intended for Michael Irvin. Put the Dallas Cowboys back in front. And Willis got all of it. The Cowboys just won't let the Oilers get in front of them. We've been tied a couple of times, and now the Dallas special teams goes back in front. 16-13 with... 151 to go in the third quarter. Of a surprise on the line. Warren Moon on first down. Out to the near side. Got it to Curtis Duncan, and Duncan with a great move to pick up nine yards. Second and short for the Oilers. Lorenzo White skirts the left side. First down for Houston. And he got it out near the 48 yards, leading by three. Moon, another completion. Near the 44, and it's Curtis Duncan again. Boy, spreads the wealth around to those wide. And in two at the 44. Warren Moon. First down for the Oilers. And Duncan's got three straight catches for Warren Moon. Out of Dallas. Givens in motion. End around to Ernest Givens. And he's got some room inside the 30. Givens all the way to the 13. They, second and six. Drew Hill. And he got near the first down marker. A punch for the Oilers. Still third and two. Still at the Dallas four. Boom. To the end zone. In and out of the hands of 
Drew Hill. Boy, that's two passes in a row that Oilers have. El Greco's got it right through. A brand new Oiler kicker with another field goal. And 12 16 to play, and we're back to dead even here at Houston. Eric Williams in for him at right tackle. And Aikman down the middle. And Novacek across the 35. Lamar Lathan stayed with him, but Novacek got deep in the middle and a pick. Lathan, but look, Lathan has his back turned to the ball, and Aikman throws a perfect pass. And we got another Cowboy offensive lineman down. Tommy A.G., can he get to the sticks? No. Got to the 45, maybe the 46, but he's at least a yard short. To Gibbons. And Gibbons has it out to midfield. Robert Williams behind Tarkenton on that NFL list. He's sitting over here to my right. Here's a little quick hitch and in a hurry inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. James Washington, Tony Jones with a 20 yard pickup. to the 25 the Dallas 24 move goes to Hill first down for the Oilers and he went right in that direction he's there on the left of your screen first down Oilers at the Dallas 15 tied 16 16 Warren Moon got it out to Jones and a good open field tackle by Manny Hendricks almost six to go for the Oilers just outside the Cowboys 10. Lorenzo White, big hole on the right side. And he's going to have it first and goal for Houston at the point of force field goals. Here they've got it first and goal at the Dallas 4. Lorenzo White, touchdown! Same play, Johnston's got it this time at a first down Dallas. First and ten, Dallas. From their own 46. Nova check in motion. Aikman hit as he throws, incomplete. Sean Jones from the backside. Some people are going to be black and blue tomorrow. And third and six at midfield. Aikman goes down. Fumble. And Childress is laying on it with his back, and Eric Williams will go down there and grab it off his back. Dallas ball. Aikman, touchdown to Urban. And a penalty marker on the celebration. So White remains a single setback. Moon drops. Across the middle to Jeffries. Pick up of seven to the 45. Second down along three for Warren Moon. Get some heat from the backside. Got away somehow. Incomplete over the middle. Warren Moon. Deep middle. Drew Hills got it. Corner, 136 left. We're tied at 23. Moon again completes it to the 25. And it's Drew Hill, was about set to go to work at a packaging firm in Birmingham, Alabama this week, and he hit the upright. Warren Moon. Wide open is Drew Hill. Again, Drew Hill in motion. Warren Moon with time, running out of time. Finally got rid of it, but it's short of the first down. Jeffries with another catch. Third and five, Dallas. Novacek again. And a first down for the Cowboys across. Aikman completes it again. Inside the 40. And very close to another first down is Harper. Third down for the Cowboys. Play fake. Aikman. Incomplete intended for Novacek. We got a flag, though. And a penalty marker in the secondary. It can't be. 
But it is. When the Cowboy fans here in the Dome love it. To win it. Little draw to Smith. And it's Smith outside. He lost the ball, and Houston's got it. This is the first one in a million years. Ball popped loose by Bo Orlando. Bubba McDowell with the recovery. And what a huge play for the Oilers as Emmett Smith is taking this ball down inside the 20. Ball knocked loose by Lathan and Bo Orlando. And McDowell gets a huge turnover. Houston from its own 14. Moon across the middle to Lorenzo White. To the 20. First and 10 for the Oilers. Under five minutes remaining in the overtime. Tied at 23. Lorenzo White again. It continues to get him a box. Moon out. Ocean man. Moon goes complete to the 30. to 10 at the Dallas 37. Warren Moon's hit his last 10 passes. He's hit his last 11 passes. First down. 11 straight for Moon. 12 straight for Moon. 25 yards passing on the day. And if Givens hold on to that, he did. A shoestring catch by Ernest Givens. And there it is. Left side, Lorenzo White. Cuts back. Warren Moon trying to throw a block. Lorenzo White's inside the five. I told us before the game, I thought this week I was going to have to find a real job. He's got one now. Everybody home happy. Never a doubt from 23 right through the middle. He hit from 52, he hit from 19, he hit from 22, and he says that 23 yarder will do just fine. The Oilers win it in overtime. What a game we've had. That's going to do it. And the ball is loose. He got it back, though. Almost missed the handoff. Oh, brother. In the game we've had, that's going to do it. For Dan Fouts, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long from the Astrodome. The final score, 26-23 Houston. Coming up next on CBS is the NFL Today postgame.